In these problems, we're looking at polynomial equations. What's a polynomial equation? Well, it's got an equal sign. That's what makes it an equation, the equal sign. And then it's got some multiple terms. In this case, it's got two different variables, an m, a v term here, and then a number. This is a polynomial equation. In this problem, it's asking us to identify the dependent and independent variables. When you have an equation like this with two variables, we usually think of one of them as being independent and one of them as being dependent. So for example, in this problem, we might put in a bunch of different values for v and crunch the numbers, multiply it by negative 5, subtract the 13, and then we'll get out some values for m. The variable where you're plugging things in to crunch the numbers is the independent variable, because it can be a lot of different things. We can just choose to put stuff in there. The dependent variable is the one that depends on all that calculation going on, and that, in this case, is m. So m is the dependent variable, v is the independent. You can usually tell which one should be considered the dependent variable, because it's usually all alone on one side of the equation. Let's look at another problem. All right, here we're being asked which one of these is not a polynomial equation. Well, we've got 3x squared minus 1 equals 2x minus 5. It's got an equal sign, and it's got some, you know, positive whole number powers of x, x to the second power, x to the first power. All of that's fine. That is a polynomial equation. No problem. In B, we've got something similar going on. The only thing different is we've got fractional coefficients, the numbers multiplied by the powers of x, but that's fine. That's still a polynomial equation. Same thing is going on in C. We have, you know, positive whole number powers of x, and we've got these coefficients. Doesn't matter that they're fractions. All that's fine. In D, we've got a little bit of an oddball here. We've got a square root instead of x to the first, the second, the third. This makes it not a polynomial equation. This makes it a different kind of equation. So that's something to look out for in these problems. Another thing to look out for is a situation like this. Let's say we have 2 over x plus x squared equals 1. This is a different beast entirely. Because the x is the denominator of a fraction, this becomes what's called a rational equation. It is not a polynomial equation. So look for the square root and look for the x in the denominator as signs that you've got something other than a polynomial equation. All right, let's look at one more. So in this question, it says evaluate y equals x cubed plus 2x squared plus 3 when x equals 2. And when you see evaluate, that just means plug and crunch. We're going to plug 2 in wherever we see x, and then we're going to crunch out the calculations. So y equals, well, x should be 2. And I always put the 2 in parentheses, so I don't get confused. And then this is to the third power. So y equals 2 to the third power plus 2. And I'm going to put in my 2 for x there, put it in parentheses. And x is squared, and then plus 3. All right, so let's calculate the rest of this math now. We've got 2 to the third power. Well, 2 to the third power is 8. And then here we've got a multiplying, and we've got an exponent. We have to do the exponent first. 2 squared is 4, and then multiply that by 2 again, well, we get another 8, and then plus 3. So this is 8 plus 8 plus 3, or 19. So when x equals 2, y equals 19. That's a little bit of work with polynomial equations.